Hey everybody. <clears throat> I'm out here uh, in the swing with these beautiful jasmine flowers that smell amazing. Um, I'm here with little Luke. Uh, he's just been so sweet lately. I've just wanted to hold on to him. And he's out here just cuddled up in my arms. And I came on to do a tag. Um, actually to start a tag <clears throat> sorry and I'm hoping you can hear me okay forgive me how I look but I've been doing housework and walking and uh, no makeup no nothing so that's the way it is that's the way we've been lately isn't it um, but I wanted to come on and excuse me Suzanne from um, Suzanne's babies um, asked me if I would do a tag so or start a tag so this is what I'm starting um, I know in the midst of all of this um, mess that's going on in the world right now with this pandemic um, things are scary and uncertain and worrisome and we've all had to you know stay home from our usual routines of things, whether it is uh, working or shopping or <clears throat> going to school, or whatever it is, and it's been disconcerting. You you know can't even go buy your groceries um, without some kind of issues as far as standing in line or having to wait to go in, and you can only take one family member in. Yada yada. <clears throat> Sorry, um, this pollen has my <laughs> uh, asthma acting up and the jasmine doesn't help, but it just smells so good I can't stand it. So anyway, um, the tag that I wanted to do is going in the opposite direction of all of that. Um, I'm, I'm the type of person who likes to find the good in people, believe of the good in people, to find the silver lining around the dark cloud. <clears throat> and um, so that's what I wanted this tag to be about. It's going to take a little uh, thinking on your part, you know, and maybe changing your perspective a little bit. But I would like for you to tell me anything that you have found um, good as a result of this or you know just something that you can pick out of, out of all this mess and uncertainty something that is positive so that's what we like to do accentuate the positive so I was thinking about it and you know um, before this all started like a lot of you I was extremely busy I ran here, I ran there. I was gone four nights a week with play practices, bowling, choir, um, and going out with friends. You know, and during the you know day, I'd be you know meeting friends for lunch or going shopping or going and doing this with the kids at school um, or running errands and just busy, busy, busy. I, I was always busy. As a matter of fact, as far as um, YouTube goes. Um, I watched videos, but you know, mostly I would like stockpile them in one day or, or watch one here and there. Um, I made usually around one video a week uh, because I had so much to do. And um, now that we have been forced to stay home um, and all of those activities have been suspended. I've had time to actually sit and reflect on things and on things that are really important to me, you know, the things I was doing was important at the time, but in the grand scheme of things, they really aren't. And um, so what I've found is my life has slowed down considerably and now I have time to think. 
Um, I not running around making like split second decisions here and there, you know, giving quick answers here and there. I have time to sit and think. I have time to appreciate the things that I have and be content with what I have and not be constantly reaching for something that I don't have. Um, sorry about the motorcycle. Um, and, you know, that's not to say I don't go online and shop and stuff like that, but I'm able to appreciate more what I have. And uh, just to sit here in, in the garden on the swing or to sit out here by the pool and do my quiet time in the morning, which is another thing. I usually always try to have a time of study, um, time of reading God's Word, time of reflection, and um, I guess uh, examination of conscience, you know, and prayer time in the morning, I, I journal. and. Uh, I'm, I'll admit that there are times when I had so much to do, you know, going to go work out and then meet my daughter for lunch and or go out with my friend um, and I still had housework to do and stuff and a lot of times that quiet time wouldn't be hurried because uh, I had something to do, I had somewhere to go and uh, unfortunately I would sometimes push God aside for that but now that I've been forced to stay home and be quiet um, my quiet study time in the morning may last an hour and a half and I'm in no hurry um, and it's taught me a lot um, throughout this whole thing even though it's very worrisome and awful I've had a peace I've, I've had a, a genuine peace in my heart because I know that God is, is with us. I know that He's still in control and I know that He cares about us. And, um, you know, none of us have the promise of tomorrow. We never have. But just being able to spend that time with Him in the morning and unhurried time with Him in the morning it's filled my life with joy and with peace. And even though my husband has tested positive for the coronavirus, um, I still have peace. Um, and praise God, he hasn't been sick and neither have I. My daughter who is a nurse and works on um, a cardiac telemetry unit in the hospital and she tends to COVID patients from time to time too. Um, I pray for her um, and I'm proud of her but I don't worry about her because I know she's being taken care of and um, that's not to say you know, we would never get sick you know we could but for some reason I just haven't been afraid and um, so I think just being able to learn to appreciate you know, and slow down and just take life in. And, and I know I can whine and complain as much as the next person. But, you know, being able to appreciate my husband, even though sometimes he gets underfoot, um, I do appreciate him and I appreciate what he does for us. He works out here in the yard. He works very hard. He's seeing patients um, by televisits on the computer in our dining room. And yeah, he ups, upsets my routine a little bit, but that's okay. You know, we, we he comes out here and I'm inside, or he's inside and I'm out here. And we have a little bit of space. It's, it's not like it was, but it's not that bad either. And I've had time to sit and do things that I haven't been able to do, like knit. I'm knitting again, and we, I sit and watch television at night with my husband, and I'm knitting while I'm doing that. I'm reading books. I'm reading, I've read so many novels now. I'll have to share those with you. Kimmy did that today, and I'll have to share some of the books that I've been reading. But I've had time to read, and I've had time to knit, and I've had time to um, just enjoy being at peace and being still. So, yeah, 
that's my tag. What benefits or good have you found or noticed as a result of, of all that's happening? Aside from all of the horrors of the, you know, the illness and the pandemic, the economy, aside from all of that, what positives can you draw out of this experience? I hope you'll take part in that tag. It's open to anybody and everybody. I'd love to, uh, to hear what you think. So yeah, I hope y'all do it. Here's me and Luke. We're saying goodbye. We love you. Take care. Till next time. Bye-bye.